a tiny metropolis comes to mind. To start the food tour here in Port Louis. I'm so excited. Mauritius is actually very rich in culture. For roti, and it is technically like the Mauritian McDonald's. This looks so good. I absolutely love the fact you can see the ladies making the roti. Oh, I like this. Proper little hole in the wall. Mm. You're not going to get fresher. It's spicy. It's just weird. What comes to mind when you think of Mauritius? Probably paradise beaches, probably cascading waterfalls and luscious green mountains. I wouldn't think a tiny metropolis comes to mind. Welcome to Port Louis, the capital of Mauritius and home to over 150,000 people. Today we are going to be exploring as much of the capital as possible while trying the different fusions that make up the Mauritian cuisine. And look at this place. I don't know what I was expecting, but I wasn't expecting high-rise buildings and a big, large capital city in Mauritius. We actually parked the car at the Cordan waterfront, and this is like a very modern, sort of built-up restaurant bar area, obviously on the waterfront. Um, you're looking out at the Coast Guard, and this is pretty much where we're going to be meeting our guide from Taste Buddies to start the food tour here in Port Louis. I'm so excited. This is really not what I thought that comes to mind when I think of Mauritius. We have met our guide Ashvin and we've headed out of the uh, expensive and posh Cordan area to the company's garden. There's actually bats that are endemic to Mauritius living in the trees all around us. They are so cute but right now they're asleep obviously because they're nocturnal. We're on, actually on the hunt for Mauritian McDonald's? Or the answer, or the answer to McDonald's in Mauritius. Mauritius. Yeah, something like that. It's a real contrast walking through the city. You start off in the Cordan and then walk through the central business district, which is all built up, fancy buildings, expensive hotels. And then you come to the natural landscape of the park while heading through to the old town with the more colonial buildings and the heart of the city. We are just surrounded in the middle of the city by these ginormous banyan trees. Ashvin has given us so many facts. He also told us that in one of the buildings there's actually a dodo skeleton. It's really interesting that before the Dutch came to Mauritius there was absolutely nothing and no one Just fat dodos. Here. Just fat dodos that are apparently the cousins of the pigeons. On the back of the gardens, there's actually like a mini market with lots of like food stands, and that's actually our first stop. It's called Karoti, and it is technically like the Mauritian McDonald's because it's fast food, it's quick, it's easy, and it's like roti and lots of different sauces and curries. Mm, it sounds so good. <laughs> <laughs> this looks so good. I absolutely love the fact you can see the ladies making the roti and then they have all the curry. So you can have it with vegetable curry or non-vegetable. We have vegetable. It's the most popular. It's also the cheapest. Apparently um, they roll 1,000 roti a day. I can see how. Like, it's so quick and it's so busy. What have we got mm. down? We've got some dal. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. A little bit spicy. Beans. I think there's like spinach. You've got... Look at that, just there's a bin there. Goodness, juicy, and the fresh roti is so nice. This is going to be a messy job. We're actually taking it back into the park. Ooh, we basically got told to wear dark shirts. We did. Because you're going to get messy today. So apparently, it has so many different vegetable and vegetable curries, and it also has like a Creole type sauce. sauce. I am blowing absolutely everywhere here. And this was 25 rupees, so less than 50 English pence. Oh. The bread's soft, warm. How good is that roti though? Mm. Unbelievable. It's got a little pick from one of them curries. This will be enough for lunch. 50p. Next stop, Dalpuri. Down a tiny little alleyway. Where are we going? It's very dark down here. <laughs> 
So it turns out all the dal puri has sold out. This place is owned by Ahmed and he gets up at three o'clock. Every day he cooks all of the dal puri and by 11, 12 o'clock, because it's so popular, I think his dog's barking, they all <laughs> sell out, which I think is a good sign. So we've got to find somewhere else to eat our dal puri. Dal puri can wait. We're actually gonna try boulettes, which are basically the Mauritian dumplings. So they come from like China. When the Chinese came to Mauritius, they couldn't make their own food because they didn't have the ingredients. So they had to adapt it. And then you have boulettes. So the Chinese Mauritian dumpling. I like this. Proper little hole in the wall. Set outside on a tiny little stool. So we've got some that are beef, some that are chicken and I can't remember which is which. Do I do it all in one? That's definitely beef. No, a little one. Mmm. <laughs> it's chewy. Black rice paper. Sticky rice. Beef inside. Again. A little bit spicy. Broth's hot. We added some chilli sauce. Probably didn't need it. Mmm. <laughs> and that must be chicken. More like noodle, chickeny, fat broth. Chewy, try a little bit of broth. I love you with the spoon, it's cracking me up. <coughs> That's good. Okay. The dumplings were not my favourite, however, I feel like the noodles are going to be. They're like really sticky, we have spring onion on the top. Mm. To be honest, I knew we'd be a bigger fan of the Indian fusion rather than the Chinese. I like Chinese food, but yeah, the Indian fusion is definitely top tier. These are very nice though, really sweet, very sticky as well. Finally, we have found our dal puri, and there is a little bit of an argument that goes on in Mauritius whether this or the roti is better. The difference between this and the roti is that in there, some split beans? Peas. I don't even know what split peas are. There's some split peas in there, and of course, you've got the vegetable curry. There's even a chili bite. Inside, yeah, we've got an added chili bite on top. I don't even really know how I'm going to eat this. Mm. It's softer, almost a little bit chewier. Curry inside, exactly the same. Great yeah. flavours, spice going on. I can't explain the texture. I think I prefer the texture of the roti. It's a little bit, it's softer but chewier. This is technically the unofficial national dish here in Mauritius, so I'm surprised that you prefer the roti to be fair. Mm. Oh, I see what you mean. It's like got a weird texture. It lingers. Yeah, it's like powdery, chewy. I think it's supposed to be creamier, but yeah, I see. I think I might prefer the roti as well. And a chili bite. <laughs> Spicy? No, surprisingly it's not spicy, but it's nice, it's like a falafel, but made with rice flour, I think, something like that. I really don't know what I was expecting from Port Louis. I suppose a little touristy village type thing, just full of shops to sell items and souvenirs to tourists. Not this, like I said, a tiny metropolis and in every street you see the differences in cultures and ethnicities. We've just passed the mosque and from the mosque right next door is the gate to Chinatown. How does Mauritius have a flipping Chinatown? So if we get... This is just so random. I just still can't, I can't make it, it makes sense in my head that there is a fully functioning Chinatown here on the small island of the small city in Mauritius. This is one of the streets full of anime, you've got the Chinese lanterns everywhere, the Chinese shops and actually the Chinese bought basically the first banks. They were used as banks years ago, way before modern banks were invented. How cool is that? right next to all the cool street art is actually Mr. Chu's, which has been, been around for like 80 years. It's a family run business. Inside it's a bit like a Chinese supermarket, but it sells lots of cakes and sweet things. This is a peanut and sesame seed, sort of like squidgy dough pastry type thing, I suppose I can call it. 
Is that your best explanation? Mm-hmm. There is a name for it, but it's very hard to pronounce. It's kind of like, wow. It's very dense. I don't know if you can tell, very squidgy, sort of covered in syrup, not too sweet. And the peanuts are very crunchy. Mm. The name is actually Chen Yen Yen. And this one's with red lentils. From Chinatown, we have wandered towards the central market, the grand market, whatever you want to call it, the biggest market in all of Port Louis. Probably, I think, well, it is all of Mauritius. And it pretty much has everything. We're outside, but I can see <laughs> they've got all your genuine Adidas your genuine and Nike products. and Rolexes. What I really like about the city is that it seems so walkable. Everything's very connected, close together, probably because it's on the smaller side, but it means that we can wander around and find things and we need to wander around and find probably Matt a Mauritian football shirt, hopefully. We're meant to be doing food, but I want a yeah, football shirt. Yeah, we are meant to be doing food, but you're in a market. <laughs> Hey. Just wait a second, I will Ooh, add, thank you. just to give it a try, I'll just put it on um, on the tip. Yes. So is it salt so, or chilli? Salt with chilli powder. So, first stop in the market is a Victorian pineapple. It's called that after Queen Victoria because it was her favourite fruit and they actually put salt and chilli on top. Don't ask me why. I don't even like pineapple, so who goes? You're not going to get fresher. Spicy? It's just weird. It's like extra salty. Oh my god. You know what they yeah. say? If you eat a lot of pineapple, your wee will smell nice. Not with all this salt on it, it won't. The market actually dates back to the British period. Then quite recently it had a fire which burnt a large proportion of the market. So what you're looking at is actually reasonably new, but this is where all the locals from Port Louis and probably where a lot of the fancy Hello, resorts. Really Hello! Man. Everyone's so friendly and probably where a lot of the resorts come to get all your produce that you'll be eating in your five-star Mauritian hotels. We haven't actually introduced you yet to the star of the show, Mr. Ashvin, our food tour guide. Hey guys, welcome to the street food tour of Port Louis with Taste Buddies. So what you need to know before we start the food tour is that <laughs> oh, Mauritius, or oh, during the food tour, is that Mauritius is actually very rich in culture and under the, the food here has been influenced by every corner of the world. Maybe, maybe European, Asian, African. So we are really a melting pot. And like I always say, to know Mauritius or to discover Mauritius, you have to taste Mauritius. <laughs> now it's time to taste some sugarcane. <laughs> Let's go, sugarcane juice with tropical fruits. Come on. Excited. <laughs> sugar cane juice. I find that so unique, the way they crush it and all the juice comes out. Mm, mahiba. That means very good in Creole. It's nice. It's got like, it's quite thick. It's got like bits in it. It's not too sugary. You always think it's going to taste like syrup. I feel like the process is the funniest bit. Watch yeah, I mean, all of that effort, juice. like it must take so many of those branches to get just like a little bit of drink out. So sugar cane and rum were two things that the Dutch brought to Mauritius and back in the day you would have had two, over 260 factories for sugar cane and now they're only four so I need to appreciate it while it lasts, it's so refreshing. Sugar cane juice drunk, we are now in the souvenir section of the market currently on the hunt for a Mauritian hello my friend oh you have football tops do you have Mauritius football top yes you have Mauritius one I can see thank you no I think we might have one maybe <laughs> with Mauritius ah this one is good do you have enlarge enlarge perfect no, this is too much, my friend. This is too much. How much do you want? My maximum price. Saying? What did he say maximum price was? 500. Five, six hundred. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, you have the red one. You have the white one also? You have the white. Can I see? Yes. Ah, oh, so I like the badge. The badge is nice. And is it the same? I prefer red. This one is large. Large. And what is your best price for this one? 1,500. Oh, no, 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 no. In group, no way. Is in group. Is my friend. This is a lot, my friend. It's too much. Come on. Just original and not copy. Okay, I will have a walk around, I will come back. It's okay, thank you. How much you can give you? How much? Me? 500. 200 rupees for a uh, it's, okay. Seven. it's seven. okay. 500. Okay, six, six. six. 500 is not <laughs> Only 100. 500 is the bag. 
do 500. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll see if it fits. I'm very. I don't think this one will fit. Oh, no way. You have bigger? Would you? You try? Go over here, guys. Extra large for the fat man. <laughs> no, half price, half price, eh? half price, take it. Ah, this is okay. Half price. Perfect. That's better. Perfect. This one is half price. Oh. Ah, they all going up. I'll oh. do 500. Put oh. something. Huh? Put something. Oh. Put something. Oh. No, 500 is good price. No, I got sold 500. That's, that's the same. Oh. It's the okay. same. Oh. We'll we do 600. Come on down then. So 600? Then and get it. Get it more down. Thank you. This one is 700. Uh, uh, I already agreed, 600. 600. Thank you, my friend. Happy. Take care. Bye bye. Thank you so much. No it was worries. such a good fan. I'm stuck. <laughs> Thank you. The hope expert you, and you the like man it. that helped me get the football shirt for the right <laughs> price. You're, honestly, if you come to Mauritius, you need to do a food tour. This guy. Check out Taste Buddies and come for your Mauritian authentic street food tour. Woo! We got there in the end. They were starting at the most ridiculous prices they were saying 1500 rupees we got it in the end for 600 they said 500 but apparently because i'm fat and needed more material we had to pay 600 but what a food tour we are back where we started on the port louis waterfront and honestly highly recommend a food tour with ashfin from taste buddies he knows all the best spots you can walk around in almost two to three hours see the whole city try the fusions of the cuisines from the different settlers that have come here over the years from the dutch the french people that have come from different destinations the indians people from africa people from china has made one of the best cuisines i have ever tried in the world i'd love to stay here for longer there are so many lovely bars where we could have a beer but we've driven so we're going to head back to the hotel and we'll see you from somewhere else on the island of Mauritius. See you in the next one.